Hi, my name is Konstantinos Tovletoglu and I'm a PhD student in the Center for Data Science and Scalable Computing at Queen's University Belfast, completing my studies soon. Have you ever wondered why the battery of your mobile phone gets depleted even when you are not using it? One of the reasons is the main memory inside your phone, the DRAM. DRAM needs periodic operation to retain the stored data in the cell even when it's idle. However, this interval is very pessimistically selected. Similarly, other DRAM parameters are selected based on the worst-case scenario, which is rarely the case, resulting in a big energy overhead. My research focuses on techniques realized on commodity systems to operate DRAM under non-nominal parameters, reducing the energy overhead while considering the reliability of the system under different operating conditions and workloads. A long in the execution may sound crazy, but do you recall the last time that your mobile phone restarted by itself? Was it three days ago? Seven? How about having one more crash once every month, while your battery can last longer? Could you live with that? To be able to make this trade-off between energy and reliability, we developed machine learning-based models to predict under what conditions the system may start exhibiting errors. Furthermore, I'm sure that you wouldn't mind if a frame on an online video had a glitch. In fact, there are many applications that exhibit error-resilient properties as the output data are consumed by humans that cannot differentiate small errors or that the errors are masked by the algorithmic properties of the application. In my research, I try to exploit such properties to avoid system crashes while allowing operation to continue even when errors occur as long as the output is acceptable. On the other hand, we need to ensure the reliable storage of critical data. You wouldn't like to have errors in your bank transaction, email, or other critical data. So, we propose a heterogeneous reliability memory framework that enables allocating critical data on reliable storage, while the rest of the data are stored on less reliable but much more energy-efficient memory. During my PhD studies at Queen's, I had the opportunity to learn from highly respectable people and collaborate successfully with them, resulting in multiple peer-reviewed publications and an award. I have to thank my supervisor for their guidance and support, and my colleagues that were always up for a heated discussion, research-related or not.